Steve. And I'm Bill. Oh, oh wait, I'm Georgie. I'm old age, you know how it is. Hi everyone. Georgie, and we're the, the Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. Couple. I remember that. <laughs> well, we're back with a new recipe. Okay, so Georgie found this recipe a couple weeks ago, and seriously, we've been eating it several times. It's yes. so easy, it's so good. What is it? Portobello mushroom fajitas. Except I like to eat it like a taco. I've been getting corn tortillas and stuffing it all in that. It's just so good. You can make it as a burrito, you know, put your beans and all that inside of it. Oh, it's great. So anyways, that's what we're going to show you. And he's got a couple fixings on the side for it. So are we ready to get to it? We're ready. Let's get cooking. All right. <laughs> okay, everyone. Here's the first step of my portobello mushroom fajitas. I have four portobello mushrooms. They're all about the same size. What I, my ingredients are going to be four tablespoons of vegetable broth, the lot juice from two full limes. I have all my seasonings here. I have my basil, I mean my oregano, I grow in my backyard. So I have two tablespoons of organic basil. I have one tablespoon of organic cumin, one tablespoon, or teaspoon, I'm sorry, of chili powder one half a teaspoon of sea salt, one half a teaspoon of black pepper. I've got them all mixed up here in a bowl so that we're gonna throw this all away. My next step is gonna to be to show you how to prepare the mushroom. First thing you do is you twist off the stem, just like that, come on it off. Then you're gonna, these are called gills, I don't like using that, but this is what we're gonna scrape off. If you go to the way they're kinda of turned, they come off pretty easy. So how can you take all that off? Georgie? It's just got a it's just got a bitter flavor. Oh. You don't need to take it all off. I mean it's not important to have to get every little second off of it. Huh. Nope. Okay. There's that. Okay, what I do first is I cut the mushroom. I've already washed these and everything. What I do is I cut the mushroom in half and then I go start at one end about a quarter of an inch slices. That way you get nice big chunks of mushrooms. Okay, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the vegetable broth with the seasonings. I'm going to whisk them all together just so we can get them all incorporated together. I'm just kind of gooky looking. Mm -hmm. It smells good though. Then the lime juice. Oh, I almost forgot the lime juice. This little juicer is very handy. Okay, lime juice and two limes. And the vegetable broth and all the seasonings. Then we're just gonna take the portobellos. What we're gonna do is we're gonna marinate these for up to an hour. The longer you marinate them, the longer you're gonna have, or the more you're gonna have that seasoning in there that you just incorporated together. Okay, nice and mixed up. We're gonna put them in the fridge for an hour and come back and start the rest of it. Okay? All right, Georgie. All right. Okay, everyone, this is step two in my portobello fajitas. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put mine on the barbecue. I've let these uh, marinate for over an hour and I'm gonna barbecue these and I'm gonna barbecue them for about 10 minutes on a high heat and I want you to check them about every two minutes to stir them up so that they don't stop. I've got a little grate here so that they don't fall through the barbecue. And yes, vegans do barbecue. Also, you can cook these on the stove in a frying pan in a couple teaspoons of, uh, or tablespoons of vegetable broth. And then do your onions and uh, bell peppers with it. So let's go ahead and put these on. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. <laughs> we, look, we got this little barbecue for $100, brand new. And it's, it's wonderful. We're here in Tucson, we barbecue a lot. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, these are gonna cook for about 10 minutes. I leave it open like that so they don't scorch. About every two minutes, I'm gonna come mix them around. And in about 10 minutes after, you know, they've been cooking, I'm gonna take them off and they'll be ready for step three. All okay, right, we'll be Georgie. back in a second. Beautiful Tucson weather, almost 90. Wow. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, everyone, it's been cooking about six minutes. Just gonna turn them over. Those should be done in another two or three minutes. Actually, they're almost done now. Give they, them a couple more minutes. They smell delicious. Mm -hmm. All that chili, cumin. Okay, we'll be back a couple more minutes and I'll take them off. All right, okay? let's just take a look at our garden. All right, go for it. It's <laughs> such a pretty day in Tucson. Mm -hmm. You can see the mountain over there, back there. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll just give you a little look. We might be going into the sun here, but it is a beautiful day in Tucson. End of April. That's where we do a lot of hummingbird stuff. Okay. Okay, everyone, I'm taking them off now. They're done. Go ahead and take them all off of this barbecue. Mm -mm, what a smell. Yeah, wow. they look delicious. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to eat these. This is this is slowly becoming one of Denise's favorite dishes. All right, we'll see you in the kitchen, Georgie. Okay, we'll see you back then. Okay, everyone, here's the cutting of the vegetable time for our portobello mushroom fajitas. One bell pepper, one onion. You can use yellow or a sweet. I'm using sweet this time. It's easier, you don't cry as much. Okay, remember how I do my bell peppers. I did it on the end. Pulls right off the green. Reach inside, you're gonna get hardly any seeds all over the place. You just twist it off, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna cut it up here. We're gonna do quarters. Then we're gonna just do strips. That looks like a beautiful red pepper. We got these, they're, for some reason, they are so dark red this year and mm. so sweet. I mentioned it the other day and when we had a salad, how good they were. Okay. Okay, bell pepper done. One onion, cut off the ends. A little bit under the outside skin. Get that first layer off. You don't want that, it's kind of tough. Okay, cut it in half. Then you're just gonna do this. Quarter inch slices. Oop, slippery. Okay. And then we're going to saute all this. Yep. And it's going to okay. be yummy. That's my other two vegetables for this dish. We're going to stop right now and go over here and show you how to cook it. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, everyone. Here's the next step. Going to take the mushroom, I mean <laughs> mushrooms, the onions and the bell peppers. We're going to put them in about four tablespoons of vegetable broth that I've got simmering right here. We're going to simmer these for a few minutes, stirring them up just to get that hot broth on them. This is the last step for these fajitas besides putting them together. It takes a couple minutes for them to saute up. This is a really fast and easy recipe. You know, we're going to serve it up with corn tortillas and a flour tortilla, show you two different ways. We're going to serve it with some cashew cream on top and some pinto and black bean mixture that we made ahead of time and some of our mint pea soup that's on our Facebook that we're raving about. <laughs> so, okay, let's get going here. And again, we're showing that you actually can cook without using oil and it's still going to taste really good. By the time you get everything else in there with the cashew cream that's going to go on there and if you decide to put in the other veggies, you just don't need the oil. No, you don't. No. This will take a few minutes. Let us take a break and come back in a second. I'll show you when it's almost ready. Okay? Okay, okay everyone, they're nice and sauteed here. Now, when you cook your mushrooms on on the barbecue, you're going to have, uh, they're going to dry out 
So what I did is I added a little bit of vegetable broth to them before I put them in here. This is my mixture that I cooked on the barbecue. I'm gonna mix these up. Now if it's a little too dry, you can add a little bit more vegetable broth to this too. And I think I might add a little bit more. About four tablespoons more. Now I'm gonna let this simmer for three or four minutes on this high heat and we will be ready to sit this on the plate. We're gonna show you how to set it all together. Uh, I have the cashew cream on one of my previous uh, recipes that we're gonna set you up with and let you know how to, where that's at. Okay, we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you what it's gonna look like and we're gonna serve it up. Okay, here, here is my fajitas, wheat tortillas, black beans and pinto beans. We're gonna serve it with the mint pea soup some lemon water. My cashew cream is here on the side. I've thinned it out enough where once you put your fajitas on the plate, you just drizzle that over the top of it. There you go. Portobello mushroom fajitas. Denise, dinner's ready. It's on the table. <laughs> All right, Georgie, that looks so good. I can't wait to eat. All right. I hope everyone enjoys it. See you at the table. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a good dinner, uh, wasn't yes, it? it? Was. Oh Delicious. my gosh. I have to tell you, I didn't get to eat my corn tortillas because when we opened the package that we just bought, they actually weren't fresh. Yeah. So didn't want to mess around with that. So I ate it without the corn tortilla. It was still good, but if I had my druthers, I'd put it in the corn tortilla. Of course, organic corn tortilla, as everything else that we use today was also organic. So the cashew cream, we didn't demo that because we already had some in our refrigerator and we had made it earlier, you made it earlier this week for yeah. something else we ate. So you can find our cashew cream recipe on an earlier video. Episode five. Yeah, it's on, well on Facebook, it's listed as episode five, quesadilla, veggie quesadillas with cashew cream. We did it back in September of 2015. So if you're on our Facebook site, just scroll way, way, way down. <laughs> or go on YouTube, and it's actually a little easier to see all the recipes that yeah. come up easier, and you can find it without having to scroll, scroll, and scroll. subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, if you're not on our YouTube, we can use some more subscribers on that. Definitely. Yeah, so we hope you enjoy this, and until next time, right? Until next time, you're... I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. Couple. Go plant-based. Oh wait, there's one more thing that we have not done in a while and Denise is slacking on it a little bit. And it is to always remember to kiss your cook, okay? That's very important if you want happiness in your house. It's not like I don't do that <laughs> regularly, but here we okay. go. Mm -hmm. Thanks right, for everyone. giving me wonderful food, Georgie Campus, okay, and being my vegan partner. Recipe coming up next, and we'll also post it separately. Happy eating, everybody, okay. and stay healthy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>